Hello, everybody. I feel lucky to be here with you. We're going to talk more about WordPress, of course, and this time we're going to talk about categories and tags. Using categories and tags is so important. However, it is usually neglected by students and adults. By using categories and tags, you can bring organization and structure to your website. Look, in the beginning, this won't seem really that important because you don't really have that much content on there. But it will be a huge deal, a really big deal later on when you have a ton of content and it starts to be all over the place. Have you ever been to a library? I bet you have. Your typical school library uses a category and tag system already, and it's been doing so for years. You know what I mean, right? Look, you walk into a library and it's divided into sections. There's the biography section, science fiction section, nonfiction section, research section, uh, how to remove a limb section. It uh, probably doesn't have that, but you know what I mean. In addition, your kind librarian lists all the tags, but they call them keywords, that describe any given book in the library. Now, when you go to search the catalog on the computer, it's easy to find a book. You can search by category or tag. Again, they call those keywords. Categories and tags let you do the same thing for your website content. We really recommend you use these, and we really recommend that, we, that you have your students use it. You're going to love categories and tags eventually.